Okay, so obviously I'm reviewing um, the rest of Season 1 of Muppets now. I don't know if there's going to be a Season 2. Um, this is going to be a quick turnaround to that on this show because uh, I was excited after the first episode. I thought it was great. I thought it was enjoyable. I was looking forward to more. And uh, now, not so much. Uh, this show is not made for binge watching. I'm not going to get so blow by blow and spoilers here. Uh, I'm also not going to do the break spoiler section bit. I think I'm just going to do my overall thoughts and then... Uh, we'll have a little break after that. Um, but still, yeah, uh, um, yeah. like I said, this is kind of disappointing. Uh, again, sketches just get really repetitive in this. I mean, uh, Piggy's lifestyle vlog was kind of funny at the first bit. Uh, it's in every episode, and it's the same shtick each time. In fact, they repeat topics, because I think the last three are self-care, uh, self-care, <laughs> some other form of self-care, uh, relaxation, uh, more relaxation, something, uh, it's like, yeah, self-care, self-worth, uh, taking care of yourself, daily affirmation, it's like, uh, you've covered this topic already, and the only difference is in the last episode, they put it, the last one, they do a running joke uh, of it being sponsored by a bucket company. Uh, so, yeah, like, that's about it. Uh, exactly, like, and Linda Carlini is in every one, and Tate Diggs is in all but one of them. I don't, I, I'm trying to think of he is in, I think the, he missed an episode at some point. Yeah. Uh, likewise, you know, I like the Swedish Chef show, but uh, Okie Doki Cooking, but again, it's in all but one episode. It's like, again, it's just like, it's funny, but you need to spread these things out. Even SNL knows you don't do Wayne's World every week. You don't do uh, the... Roxbury Brothers every week, or the Cheerleaders every week, or uh, I guess in the modern case, the Totino's Pizza Rolls ads every week. You don't run them into the ground, and that's the problem. Like, this show is not made for binging. Like, if you watch this maybe every week after it came out, it probably worked a lot better, maybe. I don't know, but when I tried to, I tried to watch, I didn't do all at once, but I did three episodes at a time, and then I did two episodes at a time, and it's like, yeah, but it was really a chore towards the end of it. And like I said, it's going to get... Sketches repeat themselves. Sketches that are interesting, but again, Muppet Labs Field Test, which I is entertaining enough to I think have been its own actual show. It shouldn't really be part of a sketch. But yeah, it's like Muppet Labs, the first one... Uh, da -da 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 -da, I'm trying to think where it is here. Uh, let's see... For uh, da, 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 final question, oh here here it is Muppet Labs field test um, disclaimer from Legal Joe uh, Beaker is replaced by an Alexa like uh, Beak R. They're talking about uh, rocket science, and then they're doing pressure or sound experiments and stuff like that. And again, it's sort of like MythBusters but with the Muppet Labs people, and it's like that was actually interesting. But again, it happens in all but one of the shows. Pepe's uh, game show, which is also kind of funny just because of this weird madcap nature of it, is in all but three episodes, is in half of the episodes. Sweetest so Chef's show, again, I said, I think I said that already, is in all but one of the episodes. And then there's like the Muppet Masters, or the ones where they're having conversations with celebrities, and those are only in like two episodes. And... Again, there are no show, none with musical numbers, save for one segment during Pepe's game show where Gonzo and his chickens have a bit of a very brief uh, musical bit that lasts all of 30 seconds. It's the Muppets. They do musical numbers. Where are the musical numbers? <sighs> Again, just, like I said, really steep fall. I just, like, episode one, I enjoyed. Episode two, eh. And then episode three, I was like, I am tired of this. And, and there are funny bits through it all. Like, every show has a motif. Uh, I think in the third episode, uh, it turns out the show now has to be focus tested, and they hire Statler and Waldorf. And the show is so boring that they fall asleep. Like, again, that was kind of funny. Another one, a Scooter has to get a system upgrade for his computer, and he has to try to upload the show before the upgrade possibly shuts everything down. And then another one, it's like Robin, uh, Kermit's nephew, has been appointed social media manager. And he keeps interrupting Scooter, which interrupts the upload, which prevents him from uploading. So he's thinking, oh, Scooter's having trouble uploading, so he needs help with his computer, so we need to start a GoFundMe for it. And like I said, stuff like that is funny. 
and the sketches are funny, but it's just the same thing over and over. It's like there's no originality to the sketches after a while, and it's just it runs everything into the ground. And it's like it's kind of like when they tried to do Muppets, uh, the Muppet Show comics a few years back. Uh, again, every comic they did Pigs in Space. It's like I know Pigs in Space was like a popular sketch, but it doesn't need to be in every story. <laughs> you, again, like you're neutering everything that makes that great. You were hoping to get a, a Pigs in Space sketch, not just expecting it. And this is falling into the, a lot of the same traps. But we we get one thing that works, and we just need to run it into the ground, and it really, really does not help. Okay, so I think I've gotten repetitive myself here, so I apologize. I'm just going to sum up and say I give the rest of Muppets Now season one a C. It is very average. Uh, I they don't I want more stuff with the Muppets, so if there is a season two, I'm not going to be entirely opposed to it, but I'm not really looking forward to it. <laughs> Trip to the city of your choice for eight free. Shopping free. Just a few more blocks. Entertainment free. No cats in this one, right? I don't think so. Time with people who make you feel warm and fuzzy. Priceless. Let's go. Drive fast. Use your MasterCard and you could win a getaway with people you're closest to in our priceless memory sweepstakes. Okay, so the next video is going to be the random trade review on The Mask Omnibus Volume 1. Um, then after that, uh, I'm going to do another uh, thing with Madden. Uh, I think it's going to be like a new sort of uh, idea for a segment where I start doing either the franchise mode or the face of the franchise mode and I kind of, uh, you know, do sort of a running commentary on it. I don't know how well the volume is going to be in it. Again, I'll probably have to mute a lot of it because there's licensed music all over Madden and I've tried to get rid of it as best I can but still uh, it's good I think it'll still be kind of unique to go over a little bit there and then um, the next movie review is going to be another Disney Plus original it's going to be um, the secret lives of second born royals I think that's what it's called hopefully <laughs> um, I, I, it's like I tried to look up a little information on it and I trying to type it into Google, I keep getting The Secret Lives of Second Wives, which is a Lifetime movie. So, I th yeah, I, th I hope I got that title right. Anyway, Secret Lives of Second Born Royals. Yeah, it just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Um, like I said, that'll be fine. Uh, that'll be the next movie review. Uh, I'll be good doing some Madden stuff in between that. Obviously, there'll be random trade review episodes. Uh, wrestling at the end of the month, so see you all next time. Hey guys, remember, you can help support my channel at patreon.com forward slash sleepy time for cat productions, where you can help request a movie, even if it's something like, say, Sonic the Hedgehog or the next Purge film. I'll review it.